dear friends, today we will discuss about the Smith trigger. Smith trigger is a comparator circuit actually. It is a comparator circuit and it uh, rapidly changes its output. Its output rapidly changes, you know. When the input voltage arrives, is upper or the lower threshold values. Okay. Like this is input voltage given to the comparator. Comparator, you know, it uh, compares with the upper triggering point and the lower threshold value. Like this, this is the input voltage. It is varying. And uh, input is varying like this. This is upper threshold value. So output is changing, you know, the to low to high value. When the input reaches at some upper triggering point, when it reaches to the lower threshold value it again you know jumps from high to the low value now it jumps from high to low value it again you know going to the upper triggering point it again jumps from low to high value and then it's again you know like uh, it remains there for some time and then when it uh, input reaches to some lower threshold value it again jumps from high to the low value so, okay, this is the principle of uh, Schmidt trigger. Hello dear friends, today I'll discuss with you the how the bipolar junction transistor act as a switch. Switch you know like it is on or off like a toggling switch. It is like a flip-flop having zero and one memory states. Okay. Now the how the transistor act as a switch. Let's learn about it. This is a meter. A meter is grounded and the collector and collector is given a supply positive and then grounded VCC is the supply. This is a ground terminal. Okay, the voltage between uh, base and ground, base and ammeter. This is the input voltage. If it is less than 0 0.7, no forward bias, then the transistor is off. Transistor it is in off state without uh, the forward biasing. If it is off without forward biasing, there will be no current. Like there will be no ammeter current, base current, and collector current, okay? There will be no ammeter current, base current, or the collector current. Now, that means this, uh, this point is broken, this point is broken. And uh, this is yes, the point is broken, output is taken across, output is taken across at this point and here the voltage will appear as VCC as a high voltage so when the transistor is off the voltage appear as a high voltage VCC okay now if the um, if the forward biasing is given to the, between the base and ammeter, if some forward, there is some voltage is given which is greater than the 0 0.7 volt, then the transistor becomes on. There will be ammeter current, base current and collector current. The collector current will flow and transistor is on. When the collector current flows, it passes through the RC and, and their uh, voltage uh, is established. Voltage will appear across RC as ICRC. The positive end of the voltage is negative end of the voltage. We are taking the output at here. And when we are taking the output at this point, you know, here the low low voltage, low voltage means the zero voltage. Zero voltage means like uh, the zero potential, low potential. So if it is on, the potential at output will be low. So the short circuit between collector and ammeter. So low voltage at the output. Okay. Thank you. 
This circuit diagram of the Smith trigger is shown here. This is transistor Q1, this is Q2. A meter of uh, Q1 and uh, Q2 both are connected together and uh, both are connected with the uh, meter resistors and the second of the meter resistor is then grounded. Then the collector of the Q1 is attached to the base of Q2 through resistor R. A base resistor is attached to the uh, base of uh, Q2 and second end of which is grounded. V reference is applied to Q1 through R1 and V reference is applied to Q2 through R2. Okay. Input is given at here and output is taken at from this terminal. Okay. Let's see about uh, let we study about the working, how it works. So let's start with the working. And input voltage is equals to zero. When input is equals to zero, that means transistor Q1 is off. When the Q1 is in off state, then the, this Q1 is not conducting and uh, the q2 will be in the will be in conduction you know how with v reference some current will will flow r1 r and rp and then that current will make some voltage at point p and that voltage at p will make the base ammeter junction of Q2 forward biased. So the current will flow like this. Okay. Now let's we calculate the current, how much it is flowing. So this current is I equals to V reference upon R1 plus R plus Rp okay by using the Ohm's law current is voltage divided by the resistors the resistances total resistors you know resistances so voltage at point P let we denote it by it is denoted by Vp Okay, it is denoted by Vp and Vp becomes equals to current into Rp, I into Rp, then substituting the value of I. This is the value of the Vp, the voltage at point P. This voltage makes base emitter junction of Q2 forward biased. And you know, with Vp, Vp base ammeter junction becomes forward biased of Q2. When the base ammeter junction becomes forward biased, then the transistor will be then in the on state. All the current will flow, will start flowing, IE, IP and IC. And when IC flows, the output will reach to the low value output will be low then when collector current flows then output comes to the low potential okay that vp 
because of the way it is low potential so this is the low level now this point is the voltage is vp and here the voltage develops 0.7 the forward passing voltage and here the voltage will be vp minus 0.7 and if the transistor Q1 to go in on state, input voltage should be greater than the 0.7 is again across the junction. And Q1 to become on, if the Q1 to go in on state, V input should be greater than Vp. So this point is Vp. So then transistor comes in on state, this comes to low value this point this becomes at the low potential then the transistor will off will be off then output will go to the high value the output will be high output will be high because q2 is off this is high state now again now vp is vp dash because q1 is on q1 having vp dash value now again the transistor will remain on so long as the input is greater than VP dash. But if the input goes below VP dash, like at here, it is going, you know, below VP dash, then the transistor Q1 will go to the off state. When it go to the off state, this will go to high. This is again high. And again here potential will be VP. Here the potential will be Vp and again it will be in the on state. Q2 will be the on state and output will be low. And again here it is Vp minus 0.7. And again input voltage should be greater than when the input go, will, will be greater than the Vp. Then the transistor will uh, come in the on state. Q1, Q1 will come in the on state. Okay. This process will repeat again and again, again and again, and uh, we obtain a square wave depending upon the value of Vp. Vp means when Q2 is on, then at this point is Vp. Uh, when Q2 is on, then at this point the voltage is Vp. When Q1 is on, then at this point is Vp dash. At here Vp dash. So depending upon Vp and Vp dash, we obtain a square or a rectangular wave. Okay, with the input voltage like this. Okay, having some upper triggering level and the lower threshold value. Thank you. Hello, my dear friends. Please subscribe my channel and do not forget to click on a bell icon to get the notifications about my new work. Thank you very much.